All right, when I think about retro gaming, when I think about mods, when I think about DIY projects, trying to play games using single board computers, arcade mods, if I'm thinking about pinball machines that need a DMD, if I'm thinking about if I'm a streamer, I need a secondary screen to do some cool stuff with, or if I just want to have an awesome touch screen in my home for whatever imaginative way I want to use it, well, guess what? We have this really, really cool 11.6 inch IPS screen from Elecro, from Crow Vision. This is a 1366 by 768 screen that actually has a 178 degree viewing angle on it. This is probably the best IPS panel that I personally have ever seen. Now the folks over at Elecro did send this to me for the purpose of review. I figured why not, let's check it out. It comes with everything you need at least to get it running with most single board computers, whether it's a Raspberry Pi, Orange Pi, all that kind of stuff, which I'll show you in this video. And taking a look here when we unbox it, this little packet here, you don't want to lose it. This little instruction booklet walks you through all the different ports on the device, as well as how to plug in whatever single board computer you want onto the back of this thing. They also provided you with tons of cables. You have uh, mini HDMI to HDMI, micro HDMI to mini HDMI. You get a nice power supply brick. Uh, you'll be able to power, you know, if you connect your single board computer to the back of this thing, you'll be able to power everything with one power brick. You're not going to need a separate power brick to power, for instance, your Raspberry Pi, which I'll show you in the video. That's always nice. Also, you're going to get all kinds of micro USB to USB-C cables, USB to USB uh, B cables. Also, this awesome little controller board, which helps for arcade mods or some projects. That way you can power everything on and off. You just connect this ribbon to that board to the board, which I'll show you. They even gave you a screwdriver, which is really cool to help you with the little screws that are on the back of this panel. Because I got to tell you, man, I was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised when I popped this thing open and finally saw what we were looking with. Now, I do have one interesting fact. So this panel, as you can see here, they got some 3M tape on the back of it that you can peel in order to mount this in. Let's just say you want to make a small counter cater, mini arcade machine or whatever device you want to use. I have the protective film on it. I'm not going to take it off until we're done setting this thing up. But taking a look here, this thing weighs, oh, geez, a little, like around a pound or so. Like, it's not that heavy, but it definitely doesn't feel cheap. You'll notice on the back, I'm going to show you those sliding things in just a minute. But right here is the little motherboard that powers the whole thing. This is where we're going to connect all of our, you know, devices. Whether you want to connect a console, a Raspberry Pi, or pretty much whatever you want to this thing to try and get it to use this as a monitor your PC now one of the coolest things is you know you got these adjustable feet here that you can use for your PCBs for your single board computers these slide up and down on the tracks so depending on what size you don't have to worry about like oh man this thing only fits a Raspberry Pi 4 right now I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4 you can put a, a tiny Raspberry Pi 0 in here and you can line everything up, which I thought is really, really cool. You could just move these little uh, nut bolts uh, around the track, get them underneath where the PCB feet holes are, use the provided screws that came with the kit, use the screwdriver that came with the kit, and you're off and running. So what's really cool about this is, you know, ease of installation, keeping things clean. You can mount whatever you want on here. I mean, taking a peek here we actually have this raspberry pi 4 it only took me a matter of like two minutes to get this mounted now whether we're going to connect this to a single board computer or to your pc we got to be able to have some kind of cable for the controls right so right here we have our usb to micro usb this is for the touch screen capabilities running off of your device so we're going to plug in the micro side to the micro usb port on the uh, touchscreen board and then we're just going to plug the USB into one of the USB ports on the Raspberry Pi 4. And then we need one more thing, right? We got to be able to power the Raspberry Pi 4. So we're going to do it with this USB-C to, to USB cable that they provide here. So what's great about this is the monitor panel is going to power the Raspberry Pi 4. I'm not going to need to bring a separate power source for the Raspberry Pi 4. I'm just gonna plug this into the USB-C port, which is typically where you would plug that power supply in for the Raspberry Pi 4, and boom, this thing is all wired up and ready to play some retro games on it if you wanted. 
Now, depending upon your mod project or what you're doing, you might, once you plug it in, you'll notice that when I plugged in the power source for the monitor, you'll notice there's a red light there on the bottom corner of the PCB. The monitor powers on. But you want to be able to control that, right? You want to have an on-off switch. So you can use this separate board to mount this somewhere on your project. This connects with the ribbon cable that's provided in the kit. And you could also adjust the video monitor settings as well on this kit. Brightness levels, things like that. Up, down, left, right, etc. And it's got a nice little power switch on it to power everything on or off. So in my opinion, definitely don't lose this board. You might need it depending on your project. Now this little monitor panel is just a monitor. It doesn't have any speakers or audio systems. So you're going to have to connect whatever audio to whatever device you have connected to the panel. So for instance, if I'm using a Raspberry Pi like this, I'm probably gonna use the headphone jack and make sure I have the settings uh, on my Raspberry Pi to pump out the sound via the headphone jack instead of HDMI. Skipping ahead here, let Emulation Station boot up, and I have a wired Xbox controller plugged into my Raspberry Pi, so of course I'm going to have to, if I've never used this controller with my Raspberry Pi before, I'm going to have to do my quick button mapping right when you load the uh, RetroPie system. After that finishes, I'm just going to hit the start button on my controller, go to the options, go to sound settings, and make sure that we have the audio device set up for the headphone jack. That way, if I do have any speakers plugged in, I can plug it in through there. You could also adjust various other settings there, depending on the Raspberry Pi or RetroPie image, emulation station image that you're using, right? Now, I was absolutely blown away by the image on this IPS screen. I don't know how they did it, man. It's beautiful. It looks fantastic to me. Even my camera probably doesn't even pick it up as beautiful as it looks in person. So I'm feeling very good here if I wanted to stick this mini panel in an arcade machine and have an 11.6 inch screen, whether I want to play modern games or retro games. Image quality looks great, man. Not going to have any issues whatsoever. Or hell, even if you just have this tucked somewhere in your house where you're going to play games just off the device. And holy crap, you want to talk about viewing angles on this thing? Again, man, they have a 178 degree viewing angle. No matter what way I angle this, <laughs> there's no washout. It looks incredible. It looks absolutely stunning, man. No matter what angle we're looking at, even the black borders around this image and it's uh, are, are still black. I can lay this thing practically flat, and that's how good of quality the image is. This monitor is pretty pretty cool for what it is, man. And whether you want to use this in a project around the house or whether you want to use it as another screen for your computer, your workstation, you're not going to be disappointed in the image quality. And it's a pretty nice size, 11.6 inches. Cannot complain about that. Right now, my laptop here is running Windows 11. I just dragged a window over to the extended display, the secondary display. And sure enough, I can use the touch screen provided you do have the micro USB to USB plugged into your computer. You'll notice at the very bottom of the screen there, just left center, you'll notice there's a USB cable plugged in that is plugged into the touchscreen function cable port on the red PCB on the back of this thing. But as you can see here, man, navigating this thing is a breeze, no issues whatsoever. Response time is fantastic. And I'm thinking make your own crap, make your own casino cade with this. Who knows, right? P-dubs, this sounds like a $300 touchscreen monitor. No, it's not, man. It's only $99. Bucks. Crow Vision, Elcro, they're crowdfunding this on Crowd Supply. It's already been fully funded. It's $99, bucks, and you guys will actually get a stand with it, which I didn't get a stand with mine, but that's fine. I appreciate them sending it to me for review. But if you take a look here, if you back the project for $99, bucks, take a peek, you actually get a stand you could put this on if you need it. Me, I'm probably going to stick this in one of my pinball machines. I'm probably going to stick this in an arcade machine or something. Going to do some kind of mod with this screen. I can feel it. This is definitely one of the best IPS panels I've ever seen. Definitely check it out, guys, if you're interested. And this could be really cool for some DIY projects. But let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick review. Thanks again, Ella Crow, for sending me this ProVision monitor. Give us a thumbs up on the way out. And as always, my dudes, thank you for subscribing.